this is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. We are back out here on this job. I did a recent assessment on this and gave them a quote for fixing the flooding crawl space. And so they decided to go for it. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna catch these gutters, send them to the front drainage ditch. We're gonna put some new gutters on this house. This gutter here, we're just gonna take straight across to the drainage ditch. And then we're gonna add, when we, when we put new gutters, we're gonna add a downspout right there. We're gonna add in some dirt along the foundation and try to create a slope away to shed the water away. And so I've got some dirt here and I've got the mini bobcat as well. So this should be a pretty nice little job this morning. I've got Ronald here with me and we've got some more help on the way. Got the trencher here. So we should be in pretty good shape. Once we get our fittings out and our equipment unloaded and the pipe unloaded, we start to lay out how we're going to install the pipe. And so that's what we're doing here. And we carry all these different fittings because you just never know how things are gonna work out. And it's nice to have a vast array of fittings to choose from. And so if you have a way of doing it the one way that might be better than the other, we don't have to worry about having the right fitting to do it the best way. So we get the pipes laid out we play around with them, we brainstorm about it, we get everything spray painted, and then we get everything ready for the trenching. So we get the pipes laid out, spray painted, get the pipes back out of the way, and then we can start trenching. If you remember around the back of the house, they only had one downspout here and it's just kind of dumping right there into the foundation. We're going to add a downspout and we don't really have a good place to go here. So we're just going to kick the downspouts out away from the foundation. Once we get out to maybe like here, it's gonna be kind of a long one, but once we get out to there, it should flow out into the yard. And right now they've got a dehumidifier set up in here. That looks like a drain going to somewhere. Hopefully it's working. But once we get finished here, the idea is there won't be any water going under there. So you won't need a dehumidifier. Whoever brought the gravel in off to the left, instead of digging it down, they just laid gravel on the surface of whatever was there. And so they created a trough, a low point up against the foundation. So as part of this quote, what we're doing is we're bringing in some dirt here and we're gonna establish a grade away from the foundation. And so you can really see in this shot just how much higher that new gravel is compared to the ground and how it's trapping water up against the foundation. So I'm here working the mini bobcat to get some dirt spread out. I'm over here getting this dirt up against the foundation and I wanted to show you really quickly about the gas meter. So take a quick look. When it comes to gas meters, we have a certain height we can go for dirt around them. And that height, of course, is the cutoff valve. So this valve, of course, is going up parallel with the pipe, so that's open. When it goes perpendicular, it's closed. And so we can't bury this. So we've got to keep our grade underneath that gas valve. And so luckily, we have a little bit of space here to come up. Sometimes you don't have that. So that's a consideration when working around a gas meter. This porch is overhanging a little bit. You can see right there. So the pipes are gonna stick out and look kind of funny. The downspout is set back against that post, which is also set back. So we tried a couple different configurations of the pipes, but they're gonna stick out no matter what we do. 
And so to mitigate that ugly pipe, I recommended to the homeowner to put a, a frog holding a welcome sign in front of it or plant a bush in front of it. But the key here and the point is the pipes are going to be correct and they're going to be flowing really well. And so we can fix any problem with how it looks. We were happy with how this was dry fit and so now we're just taking it apart and we're going to get it all glued up and set in place. You got that part? Okay, we got a root right there. All right, go check that other side. Make sure it's good and straight. You got your level on it. How's it look? Pretty good. I'm a smart with big crowd. All right. Yeah, I think we should maintain yeah, like that. Three bubble there. All right. What we can do is we can get it laid out before we start covering it. If we have to bring this up a little bit and get a little bit more fall out of it, we can. Okay. But I think we're going to make it. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Now, should I dummy fit a piece in there or just go ahead and glue it and haul that? Through? Let's just, yeah, let's slide it in there and just check our fall just in case we have to retrench it. Okay. Take it down a little bit. I hit those roots, which may... Oh, I've messed roots. up my trench. The yard was extremely flat across here, and so we really, really, really had to mind our fall going across there and try not to run out of fall by, by going too deep too fast. But we were able to get it across there, and we still had a, be a decent amount of fall going th across that really flat section. We're going to be bringing in dirt along here. So we need to get these leaves out of here. I think this was a big offender of where the water was coming from so we're going to fill that in with dirt as well and this one right here with the no elbow I'm pretty sure that was just dumping right there and then just running right in that hole so we'll get this kicked out once we get some gutters on here get that full of dirt and we should be in good shape Running the gutter on the other side of the house, we ran into the same problem with a super flat front yard there. So getting our trench right is really, really critical to maintaining our fall and making sure we don't run out of fall going to the drainage ditch. Okay, we got this one in and it's looking pretty good. And I always carry all these different fittings just in case we need something. So we always have what we need. Got a bunch of tubs of fittings there. So this is all going to be covered with dirt and they can plant a shrub or something in front of this if they need to.
All right, we're getting this hole filled in pretty well over here. So that'll be a big improvement. And I wanted to show you this fence really quick. When you bring the, the barbs all the way up above the rail, that's, that's called budget barbed wire right there. So that's when you don't like your neighbors. Budget barbed wire? Yep. I hear you. It's a lot of hate. Yep. So look at, how, look at how high up that's coming. So you can't climb over that fence. This one over here though, that one's nice and smooth across there. So they must like those neighbors. So that fence is easy to cross. We got our first load of dirt unloaded. And this area right here is just like a, like a super low point. So it looks really, really bad. And so I went and got another load of dirt, maybe a half load. So we're gonna feather this out a little bit better than what it is right now. We are almost finished with this job. We got the grading and the gutter work finished today. So we're still waiting on gutters, but we got this gutter caught. We stubbed out for a new downspout there and we're heading on down to the drainage ditch on the front. Same thing around the front. The other side here, we got this one. And then that gutter downspout, we're just gonna kick this right here. So we're just gonna kick it out over here somewhere and that'll be the end of that water. We got this all added and built up a little bit and we ended up bringing in a little bit more dirt to really build this area up because once we got this area built up over here this was looking really low so it just I don't think it was acceptable so we got it done. So we're just getting cleaned up and getting stuff loaded up and about to be finished for the day. I am back out here it's the end of the week and the gutter guys are here and so they're going to get the gutters on this thing and that'll be our final part of our job here so they did mention that the the hangers on this gutter here had broken off so let's see if i can get you up there And so we got snow this year. We didn't get any snow last year. And the gutter guy said that the, this metal roof needs some snow guard on it, ice guard. So I'm gonna tell the homeowners that. But that's, that contributed to breaking those gutters and getting them so low. So we're gonna fix that too. So yeah, it's just peeled that and just ripped it right out of the front edge. So that's ice damage? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. got gotcha. you. Sure, we got enough on this pool before I punch any holes. Oh, that's the end of that, isn't it? Sticker. Yeah. Well, we get that sticker off, we got it. Never ran it all the way to that. You what? So we about got it all,
that on both of them. I wanted to show you really quickly, this is a two by three downspout, and this is what we're upgrading to. This is a three by four downspout. So look at the difference. And that's the amount of water that's gonna be, be able to drain away from the gutters. The previous gutter installation only had one downspout on the front of the stoop and so all that water along the front of the house had to come along there and then down this little short piece and then down the downspout on the stoop. So we added a gutter for each one with its own downspout for a much better installation. We are finished with this job. So we got this downspout added and we got that piped away. The gutter guy didn't like how they had cut like an angle on the one and they were connecting them. He was worried that if they backed up, it would get under the roof. So we just did two different ones. And let's walk around the back. Take a look. So we added this extension here. And this type of elbow that comes out like this, this is called a, an A elbow. And so that comes out like that. And let me show you what a B elbow looks like. So this one is a B elbow, and this one's gonna go out like that. 
And so anytime, this, this is more appropriate to shoot the water that way than this way. So these gutter guys always put the right elbow on there, where a lot of times I see them just putting all A elbows. And there they go. And then this one, we also have a B elbow. And then just this short little piece of extension here to shoot it out. So we should be in really good shape. And the homeowners have already started doing some planting around here. So I've talked to them, they're pretty happy with everything. This low area right here, and the fact that the pipe is really, really shallow because we just didn't have any fall going across there. They're gonna keep a close eye on that and see how it does. And if we need to bring in another load of dirt in maybe like four or five months, we'll do that for them. So yeah, everything's good. Can't wait to get back out here in the rain. I'm back out here, it's been about five months and I wanted to check on this. So there's a little bit of water coming through these pipes, but not much. I just missed the rain. So it's looking pretty good. There's a little bit coming out of here. And then of course you can see all the willow oak leaves. That's a testament that these pipes are blowing out the debris like they're supposed to. So things are looking good over here. And I wanted to wrap up this video. I've come over here a few times and missed any good downpours. So I guess this is about as good as we're gonna get for this one. This was a pretty interesting job that we did and I had done a drainage assessment video for this and I'll put a link to that video in the description so you can revisit that. But we went out there and we got the drainage work done. We got the grading and brought that soil in, got that all finished up and then I met back up with the gutter guys. And the funny thing about that is I got a text from the homeowners because they weren't, they weren't able to be there when we were doing the job. And they said that they, they weren't too happy with how deep the pipes were, that they were too shallow and they didn't like the asymmetrical look of the pipes coming off the front gutters. And so instead of texting them back, I called them right back and I explained the asymmetry was due to the, the way the footer was, was poured and how our run was going. And so yes, the pipes looked asymmetrical, but I said, plant a bush in front of it or plant something in front of it because it's better to have it flowing right than have it look good. And so this is always a concern with these systems is, do you go for looks or do you go for function? As far as the pipe being too shallow, anybody can go in there and bury a pipe and have it back grading and it, and it won't flow very well. But to get that pipe flowing and to get our fall right, we had to have the pipe high up against the house. And so I explained that to them and I, it happened to be raining when they called me or when I called them back. And so I said, if you go out there and look at the pipes, you'll probably see water gushing out of them. And they said that, yes, they had already seen the water. And so they were completely, they completely understood what was going on. And I told them, you know, we, we left the pipes in the condition we did so that they would settle, the ground around them would settle correctly and the pipes would stay put. And I said, let me know in a few months if I need to bring some more dirt in to bring the, the bring the grade up a little bit and cover the pipes properly, I can do that. Just let me know. So just a simple phone call after receiving a text like that can go a long way to making sure everybody's on the same page and everybody's communicating well. And so I texted them a few months later asking if they needed me to bring some dirt. Everything was good. I guess, as you saw in the after footage, they did a bunch of mulch and stuff in those beds. And so they were good with that. So this has been a pretty interesting job and a good, good example of communication as well, I think. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.